Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to craft the new 3-star recipes, 70 durability, high quality, for lower quality materials with minimal stats. Alright, the first thing you need to do is, of course, get the new crafter set first. Once you have done that, make sure you have your blacksmith tools done first. Because after you make the gear, the tools are basically the only things left. So your blacksmith is your number one priority. You need at least 400, uh, 545 CP, 2699 minimal control, and your craftsmanship, all you need is 2485 craftsmanship, but the craftsmanship goes up purely by the stats of the, of the gear itself. I don't have any craftsmanship melds whatsoever. Alright, so first let's go over the body set for the melds. These are temporary until we get the new 4 star, then I'm going to remeld some of this gear. But for right now, my headpiece, I have 3 grade 8 controls and a CP plus 1. Same thing with the body and same thing with the hands. The belt, I have a control 8, a CP 6, and a control 7. For the panel pants, I have a control 8, a CP 8, a control 8, a control 7, and a control 4, and same thing with the feet. For the earrings, I have a CP 8, a control 5, two control 2s. Same thing with the neck, same thing with the wrist. For the ring, I have a CP 5, a control 5, control 5, a control 2. And same thing with the other ring. Now, in the main hand tool, I have a control 8, control 8, and two CP3s. If you like, you can go a control 5, and then another control 5. This way you're not wasting a grid 8, since they are kind of a little bit difficult to melt. Or you can stick one grade 7 on your main and one on the offhand. In the other offhand, I have a control 8 and a CP5. So I believe you can take at least two of these CPs out. Now for my carpenter, it's a little bit different for the main tools. I have a control six and a control eight for two CP3s. And then for the offhand, I had a control eight, CP four, and a control three if you want to do your tools that way. All right, so. Stats are now 545, 2533, and 2699. All right, so my carpenter is what I'm doing this with. No specialist, as you can see. You're going to be using the blood bulu base, and you're going to need the Craftsman syrup, the extra control. To eliminate the syrup, you're going to need to meld at least 42 control to compensate for it. To be honest, Making the syrup is a hell of a lot easier than melding. Alright. So first off, let's make a ring for gatherer since I already made all my crafter stuff. Now, the rotation is the same. I put this into a macro. So, I finally got around to that. So let's go ahead and pop it. So you don't need any goods or excellence as per usual. The extra craftsmanship that you get from the gear will not complete the item, so don't worry. So far, so good. Alright, macro number two. You guys seen this rotation in my previous video. Alright, no goods are excellent so far. And I don't think I'm gonna get any, so this is perfect. There you go, 100%. My buyer got to 20,250. I only have two extra CP left over. 
So that means, like I said, you can take at least two of the CP1s out. Alright, so let's go ahead and do it again. This took me about an hour to figure out. This is great for mass producing this if you're trying to sell them if your server is doing better than ours or if you're trying to make them for friends, free company, or maybe an alt of yours. This will definitely help. Oh, I'm getting goods on this one, but like I said, I saw you don't need any. Now, even with these stats and melds, the expert recipes, I'm having, a, I'm finding it easier to get the minimal for the turn ends. But if it if it was fully melded, I'd probably have even easier time to do it. All right, and now let's make one more. And that'll be it. I'm really glad that the first craft was perfect. Alright guys, so that is how to make the new 3 star crafter stuff high quality from normal quality materials. Now of course, my uh, stats work for my rotation. Maybe some people out there will have a different rotation that requires less, but this is going to work for me. All right, so when we get the new four star, I can basically demeld uh, my top three item, uh, items here on the left, my pants and my feet. Probably gonna, I can demeld the great fours. I can demeld the rings just for the control and add more and for the neck neck uh, wrist and earrings I can demeld just in case I need to make any adjustments for the new stuff and as well for my tools so there is plenty of room for an adjustment and these melds aren't too taxing but the um, the over melding of the grid eights might be a little bit iffy but like I said, the game throws so many materia at you that you have no reason not to get grid aids. Alright guys, so that pretty much is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy guys off with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit the notification bell next to my subscribe button. This way you guys never miss an upload and follow me on all my social media at ZaneLionR on Twitter and Facebook. So until next time, guys, remember for walking the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.